Hey guys, it's Cute and Cuddly here with another mini tutorial. This time we're going to do some basic muzzles. Now the reason why I say basic muzzles is because muzzles are pretty much a very stylistic uh, type of uh, drawing. So depending on what you want to do with it, you can customize it however you want to uh, how you want to do it. There's like hundreds and hundreds of ways of doing it. You can do it a realistic way, you can do it a cartoony way. I'm just going to show you the most basic form of it. I'm not showing you how I do my muzzles because that is my style of how I do my muzzles. So I'm just going to show you how to do a very basic, slightly cartoony or more more cartoony than realistic type of muzzle. So let's start. Let's get started. I'm going to do a front and a side view. And I will I don't know if I'm going to do a realistic one, but we'll see. Let's just do this one first. And pretty much what the basic shape is, and I'll redraw it here so you guys can see, it is the head, you do a line down the middle for the center, you do another circle for where your muzzle wants, you want the muzzle to be, you can either make it a large muzzle or a small one, depending on the style again. So we're just going to do a medium one now, uh, and, uh, and then you'll figure out where you want the nose, so the nose is right here. And then we'll do an ex an example of an expression later. So something like that. So since we already have that drawn out, we'll just use that. And I'll lower the opacity on that. And as you can see, we have a front and a side right here. And of course, the side view, the nose is protruding. Whereas on the front, you can it's not as protruding. But you can make it protruding if you want it to. Again, it is a stylistic choice and there's no right or wrong way of doing it, it's however you feel comfortable doing it, whatever you like to do, you know, you just do your thing. I'm just showing you the most basic, basic way of doing it. So, here's an easy technique of doing it. So first off, we'll start off with the curve, which is the bridge of the nose, and then we'll have a curve for the nose, because it does kind of do that kind of shape like that, but we're just going to do two easy steps for the beginning, so curve in, curve up, and then for the nose, depending on what it is, if you have a dog nose, it would be more of a triangle, three sides, curved triangle like that. If you have a cat, it would be more of a, a kind of like a heart shape, sort of, but so we're just going to do a dog one for now, and if you want to do the curve of the nostril, you can do that, or you can do it without, you know, you can do that, or, you know, whatever you want to do, it depends on the style you were going for, so I'm just going to do the basic curve like that, very, very basic, and you have the little thing there, you can do it on the other side, but whatever, and the other shape you go from there, if you just do the curve, curve, triangle, you do the curve down, and to indicate where you want the mouth is, usually it's in the center right here, so if I hide this, it will be like about here, and again, it'll be like about here, if it's just normal, you know, happy smiling or relaxed face. So about there. So you would do the little tick here, you can do that as a three line here, I guess, I don't know if you can see that, but like that. You can draw the chin, the chin you don't follow the circle very much, you just kind of put it, you follow this circle here, this line that you drew in. So you just follow that, and of course you do it in a neater way, you do that and then you kind of dip this in like that. And then for the eye socket, you would just curve in, out, in. And then you do the head. And there you go. And again, for this side, the same thing. You know, curve, curve, curve. And of course you would do it much neater than I'm doing it, but you know, eyes there, whatever. If you have giant eyes or whatever you do. There you go. And for a cat one, let's do the cat version. Again, same technique. Curve in. Let's make it a new layer. Curve in, 
curve up. Nose. You can start it with a no dog nose and then just curve it inwards like a cat afterwards, like something like that. There you go. Of course this is more of a big cat nose because it does curve in like this and it has a bit of a bump. And it's a much larger nose, whereas a small cat would have a smaller nose. But you know, again, stylistic, you can do whatever you want with it. And again, with this is curves, and this one curves a little bit more because it is cat-like, so curve. Find curve, and then you do the mouth again, like this. Whoop! I'm drawing. There we go. Three tra the three lines. One, two, three. And then the chin. Follow the circle. Or whatever. No stylistic. And then you could like do whatever you want with it. And you can lessen the curve here. And curve in, out, in, and then head again. And you have a cat head. Again, very stylistic. I don't know how many times I have to say that, but very stylistic. <laughs> and I'm doing it very quick. Okay, so let's do a side one real quick. So again, curve in, curve up from the nose, like that. And because it's protruding, you just follow that, go down, like that, and you kind of just curve it in because the nose is laying on the cheek, because there's a cheek here, so you just curve that in like that, and you put the mouth, curve, curve, follow the circle here, and then like that, and then you go like that, there you go have a dog face, and you can do whatever you want with it. You know, customize whatever you want. You can fix that if you want. Do the again, very stylistic. This is pretty much just style choice. Whatever you want to do, you know, the eye, and then whatever. And we'll do a quick expression, real quick. And let's use this one. And let's say I want to do an open mouth. So let's say like that. I don't know if you can see that. We'll do that. And I want an open mouth like this. So we'll just erase that so you guys can see. And I want a mouth like this. Kind of like, oh no. And then again, same technique in bridge nose. Again, you do it as slow and as accurate as you want. This is just a quick tutorial. You put in the mouth, curve, because it is a little bit lower, you do that. And then if you, there, this is a stylistic choice, you can have it where it's still connected, like that, and you can still see this part. Or you could do it where curve, curve nose, nose, where you kind of curve and then you do this part and you have it where it's showing the mouth kind of open and then you can just do, you know, whatever. So I hope that was helpful and if you have any questions, feel free to contact me via my Furfinity DA or down in the comments below. Please subscribe for more tutorials in the future. Like and share it as you do, and I'll talk to you guys in the next tutorial. Take care.